Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. From the turreted castle and Main Street to Monte Cristo Island and Kukwana Land, Bartholomew Zenon's Zenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he is burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything, guests, staff, and fellow supernaturals taking refuge in the park. The night sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. Even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome back to the Sequoia Park Zoo. It's looking pretty good. It is, of course, nighttime, as you can probably tell from the darkness. But the zoo looks pretty good at night, doesn't it? Now, what we're going to do today is we are adding a, a habitat for the American bison. And once again, I started doing some preliminary uh, landscaping and just went too far with it. And I realized, you know what, I better start recording this before I, I do more than I intend to. Which, you know, can be an honest-to-God thing because, um, you know, in addition to everything else... I've got ADHD, which means I can get, you know, everybody thinks ADHD is, you know, oh, you're easily distracted. You, you're all like, oh, you know, what's that? You know, you know, ooh, squirrel, that kind of thing. But the other half of ADHD is when you get so concentrated on what you're doing that you forget what you're supposed to be doing. You know, you stop to do one thing. Um... You know, oh, well, what, what I need to do here is I need to, uh, uh, oh, that was an interesting noise. You see, that's what I'm talking about. You, you get to working and you're like, okay, I just need to do these, these few things. I'm just going to do this real quick before I start recording. And then an hour and a half later, you're still doing it. And you're like, you know, I once completed a full habitat like that once. I meant to do just a little basic work. And no, I ended up finishing the habitat and I was like well great I didn't I didn't film it so what I ended up doing was I ended up doing one of those okay well you know I uh, I accidentally forgot to record which is the truth I accidentally forgot to record but it doesn't matter because all that means is that I've got to record now right so anyway I did start recording finally and that's what you guys are watching um, because what we're doing is we're doing a, a habitat for the North American bison. Um, the American buffalo, as, as some people call it. Um, as, as the Sioux called it, Tuchanka. Uh, which is a nice name for these kind of animals. Because boy, howdy, are they chunky. They're huge. Do I have my, my build light on? Yes, I do. Okay. So anyway, we're just basically going to keep working on it. I mean, we might as well, right? Uh, I have decided on one change to this format, and that is, okay, I got six, yeah, I got six, and, and that is that I'm going to start, um, I'm going to start doing a fast forward on fence laying. I mean, you guys know when I use custom fences, uh, like I'm doing right now, in fact, um, I normally have been just going on, and if it takes an hour to move the fence around, it takes an hour. Well, I'm not going to do it that way anymore. What I'm going to do, and I know I'm in the middle of doing it right now, mm, excuse me, but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start... Uh, turning that section of the video into a speed build because let's face it it's not that exciting watching me lay fence for half an hour so uh, that's really the only change that that we're doing hold on that's really the only change that I'm doing 
to the format uh, from the, the open play because I still want it to be a live time play. That's, that was my goal, you know. But it's not like you're not seeing me uh, lay down the fence. I'm just going to be doing it artificially faster than normal. Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah. Um, let's get started with the build, shall we? Okay, kids, I'm back. Sorry about that. I know that was odd timing to, for me to take a break real quick, but, you know, I, you, you got to go when you got to go. Um, so I'm just going to get back into laying the fence, and once the fence is laid and we get the barriers down, we'll start detailing out the inner... Uh, <laughs> detailing out the inner details. I'm, I'm full of redundancies right now, folks. Sorry about that. Uh, but you know what I mean. We'll start working on decorating and, and arranging the habitat as soon as I get the fences down. So I'm going to get back to it. I'll see you on the other side of the speed build portion of this video. Okay, so let's turn off the speed build and get back into it. Uh, vending machine Gulpy 10 finally broken down. Okay, urgently requested. 
It's already set to be picked up every month. I have no idea why they're not fixing the machine, but you know, it happens. All right, uh, let's check. We've got, okay, no enrichment coverage. I do want to add some plants here, so, so you know. Okay, let's see, American Bison. We'll turn off the blueprints. Let's get some food. I'm gonna put the food trough right there. And let's find a water pipe for a grassland. Yeah, that'll fit. That'll fit beautifully, in fact. There we go. Um, in fact, hold on a second. I know what I want. I just want to get the, the right thing to do it. Where's, where are the moose from here? Where are the moose? The moose over here? Yeah, this thing? Okay, I see. It's, 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 it was this. All right. I did use this. There we go. Okay, that's food. And water taken care of. How about toys? Well, they get a hanging grazer. We have a hanging grazer that fits grassland. We tied it. Yeah, right here. You know what? Let's put it over here so they have a reason to come over this direction. For that matter, I may put another uh, I may put another food dish over here. Another food dish, another what? In fact, yes. Let's just copy everything over on this end of the... here. The grazing ball we'll put over here. Now some toys. Everybody likes the grab ball. And a great big old soccer ball for them to butt around. Oh look, he's already over here. And we'll give him a skittle. Scratching tree. Nope, it's not going to fit. And you know what? It'll fit over here. It'll 
fit over here. According to this, they have enough plants, they have, they've got enough plants, they've got enough coverage, because they are, after all, plains animals, but I want to give them at least some plants. This just looks better to have the land, you know, the wide open landscape broken up by some plants. Doesn't have to be a lot. Doesn't have to be a lot of plants. Just some plants. Like that. Okay, do I want any more? Yes, I want one more and I'm going to put it right here. here. Okay, that is the sound of an animal escaping. Oh yeah, the, the current um, the, the, the current challenge is to breed gold standard canids. I've got foxes and they count as canids, so I'm getting rewards for it. Is this not in? The only reason why this should still be broken down is if it's not in the maintenance work zone. So let me check. It is not. That's why it's not getting fixed. Okay. While we're at it. This is a little bit boring, but you know what? It's also absolutely necessary. I have not yet added education systems, so I'm going to skip the educators and just go with the, the rest of them. All right, maintenance I added, security. Vendors. And the veterinarians. Okay, let's get close to these bison again. I like the look of that log fence. I really do. Now there's only four bison in this. Um, let me see if I can get a couple more. Okay, American bison, right. Well, I'd love to have white when I don't have this, wait. No, he's male, damn it. Unfortunately, I've already got a male in here, and if I put another male in, they would just fight. One more. All right, let me get a drink real quick. Just getting two two more bison. Pangolin's about to have. Let's check. Okay, uh, the striped skunk is fighting for overcrowding. Well, let's uh, let's check that real quick. I'm gonna pause the game so I can deal with the crisis. And we'll look up the animals. Um, 
scripts. Oh, that would do it. Look at this. Okay. Um, we're going to send these guys away. And then let's look up the, the striped skunks. Okay, now you need a female. There we go. That should take care of that. Let's get this going again. Um, okay, we can release him to the wild. And Alexander the sea lion has matured. We will send him on his way into the wild. The alpine ibex are fighting, so let's handle that. Yeah, I, I can even tell you why they are. Okay, so what we have here is a problem. Uh, Antonin is elderly. We're going to have to rehome him, so let's go ahead and do that. But our alpha male, Aiden, is likely going to be the child of one of these two and the sister of this one. So let's, uh, so here's what we have to do. One, two, three, and four. We'll release those four of the wild. Okay, looks like we can't release two of them of the wild, but that's okay. We can trade them for cash, right? Oh, and this is a juvenile. So we'll trade her away. And then what we need to do is get a couple of females. Um, Okay, I do see the thing about the broken down facility, but we can't deal with that right yet. So we're gonna get three new females. So that we don't have inbreeding. Okay, that'll work there. Now let's see about this. Oh yeah, and yeah. Let's let's one more thing we need to do. Let's make sure. He, yeah, he's already on. Okay, good. Um, the Missy Good vending machine. Okay, every three months, summon the mechanic. All right, that's all going on. That's that's good. That's looking good. Okay, let's double check the these guys. All right, green for hard shelter, green for terrain. Everything looks good. I don't particularly want to install automatic snow, although I could, I suppose. Uh, by the way, this is a secret a lot of people don't realize. You know how it says here, oh my gosh, they don't like the Dahurian larch tree. They don't care. It doesn't affect their happiness at all. Because look, See, green, 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 habitat's 99%. See, plants, 99%. So put whatever plants you want. If they look good, put them. You don't need to. Trust me, the animals don't care. They really don't. We have some Bengal tigers in one of our local zoos surrounded by Floridian plants. Floridian scrub oaks, Floridian cypresses. It just doesn't bother them. So here's what we need. We need some information, and some information signs. Okay, let's get this fixed. So American bison. American bison.
Okay. I think two more signs. Yeah, two more signs. Or, you know, maybe more if I'm, since I'm under, horribly underestimating the size of their, their uh, uh, habitat. That does sound like a real language, but it's not. At least I don't think it is. For all I know, it's Esperanto. That would kind of be interesting. An artificial international language used for Planet Zoo. information signs. Now what we need are donation buckets. I do like the looks of that log fence. You know? I mean, that's just a great fence. There we go. Close enough. I need to fix those, by the way. Now's the time to, to assign the educator work zone. There we go. this came out I think it came out very well it looks a lot like their native environment which is always a good thing and uh, it's an excellent animal to add to the zoo on top of everything else because you know they're definitely from that you know from from, from the American uh, the American West and Canada, you know, so that would make it the American Northwest. A lot of people think of them as Great Plains animals, but the truth is they're, they're mostly from, you know, I mean, the, the place I saw them in was Kansas. I had, I had up close and personal, we were actually allowed to walk to their paddock. They were being kept as effectively they were being kept like cows are kept. I mean, do, do not make a, make the mistake of thinking of them as just funny looking cows, because they are not. These are massive beasts. Um, but they were being, I guess you'd call them marshaled, maybe? Is that what I'm looking for? Where, you know, they're kept in paddocks and there's a barn and they're fed regularly by farmers, that kind of thing. Um, 
but at no time could you think of these things as, as like domesticated cows because that would just be dumb. But it was part of a program to, you know, repopulate the species. And uh, it's been succeeding beyond anybody's wildest dreams, this program. Uh, you know, the, the bison are springing back from near extinction, which is a good thing. It's just a very good thing. Because these are majestic animals. And if there's any animal more than any other, more than the bald eagle even, that represents, in my mind, North America and the United States specifically, it's the bison. I mean, are they found in Canada? Yes. But are they mostly found in the United States? You better freaking believe it. And I think this is brilliant. I think they're majestic. I think they're beautiful. You know? Yeah, but, hey, I go nuts over animals anyway, so, you know, it's just a thing with me. Okay, let's double check. Temperatures are right. Water cleanliness is good. They can drink all, they can drink that water all. I didn't even have to put down water taps because they can drink from the, the river. Everything's powered. Staff traversable area, animal, animal traversable area. Staff, shelter, they get, they get sheltered, yeah. Habitat cleanliness, well, you know, these are basically huge bovines and they poop. Predicted area of, of visibility? Yeah. All right. Anyway, guys, here we go. This is our bison habitat. I think they're doing pretty well. Uh, let me check something real quick. Uh, American bison, here we are. Yeah, I think we have more than that. 870 square meters. How many square meters do we have, in fact? 7,000. Well, geez. Three to 15. One male, 14 females. You know what? Let's let's see if I can get can get a couple more. Ten thousand for white buffalo, but they're all male. You notice that? I'm just gonna get two more. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? One last thing before I call it a, uh, an episode. I'm gonna do this. There we go. All right, folks. This is our habitat for the American bison. I think it looks great. Um, there are some possible things I could I could do to it to spruce it up now that I've got the basics done. Um, maybe add some rocks along the river. But I think this looks pretty pretty damn good, to be honest.
what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked what you saw here, by all means, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my episodes. I could always use the subscribers and you'd be helping out the channel. And like I said, hit that like button. It, it does affect the algorithm. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Like I said, this was, this was a fun build. I think it worked out really well. Um, what am I going to do next? I think I'm finally going to do the uh, Przewski's horses. Where am I going to put them? Probably over here. Probably over here, although I could also put them over here. Uh, also coming up, we've got the Clouded Leopard. I've got, uh, I've got the Snow Leopard, to, not the Clouded Leopard, but the Snow Leopard to, to bring in. I've got Timberwolves and Arctic Wolves. Um, and I've got the Black Bear, among others. So let me know. I hope you join me for the next episode. I'll be talking to you later. And I'll handle uh, Agnetha's death off screen. Bye-bye, guys.